Everyone, thanks for tuning in. Let us learn from number 60 of this Kyoten. An inferiority complex often expresses itself in flashy behavior. Words for work number 60, an inferiority complex often expresses itself in flashy behavior. Thank you, Lord God. Incredibly deep, right? But so true. Um, so how do we then solve this inferiority complex? Uh, first and foremost, let's go back to Alcantara's teachings. He has taught us that every single human being has an inferiority complex. There's not a single person who doesn't. If someone says that they don't, it means that they've forgotten about it. Or, yeah, they've forgotten about it. Every single person has an inferiority complex. Um, or he also says that those types of people are kind of like people who doesn't feel inferiority complex might be too simple-minded. But, but in a... Mm, I think that means that they haven't been able to cultivate their mind deeply enough. So it shows in their flashy actions. But anyhow, go back, going back to inferiority complex, everyone has it, then how do we solve it? Now here's the thing, uh, there's a whole seminar in, in Happy Science for two nights, three days, uh, Zen seminar on how to overcome inferiority complexes. I took it um, recently, it was great. It was probably one of the best seminars I took in Happy Science. Uh, it helped me really dig deeply into my mind and my personality and I was able to see myself objectively and I, was, I think I was able to correct my bad habit too. But the whole point of the seminar is this. An inferiority complex is usually hidden. Why? Because it hurts so much that in order to cope with it, we have this defense mechanism in our minds where we put a lid on it. We put it away. We shove it in a box and put it somewhere like in an attic and we forget that it exists. And a lot of the times, because we forget about it, However, as, um, was it, who's, was it James Allen? Uh, William James, I forgot who said this, but um, the human mind is unconsciously, uh, the human mind is unconsciously controlled by the unconscious mind. The human mind is unconsciously controlled by the unconscious mind. What's this unconscious mind? It's the subconscious. It's where you hid those inferiority complexes so even though you're not aware of it in the surface because you forgot about it, but it, it, it appears in a distorted way. It's like, we also call this the inner child. A lot of the times we felt inferiority complexes when we're young, when we're very sensitive. And in order to cope with society, we learned how to hide it. But it springs out sometimes. There's a trigger in life, even while we become an, after we become an adult, when we face some sort of scenario that pokes that soft spot in the unconscious part, it comes out in a very childish way. Have you ever seen in a great, like a, just a normal adult acting very childishly? I've seen, we, I've th I think we've seen a lot of it and maybe we act that way too. That's usually because of a hidden inferiority complex. So mm, long story short, the way to heal it is to first detect it. First unravel your mind and accept that you were hurt. Accepting that you were hurt takes courage and takes strength, but you have to do this in order to heal it. And then with your adult consciousness, speak to your inner child consciousness that hurt, that's hurt, and you're supposed to embrace him or her. And then that's the only way for you to heal. Usually if you don't heal your inferiority complex, you're only using it as a springboard. So it may turn into your energy and your engine or your jetpack to move forward in life, but it may express itself in a distorted way in the sentence of flashy behavior. So let's be careful. Let's look deeply into our minds and heal our inferiority complexes instead of using it as a springboard. Uh, those are my thoughts. What did you think? Please your thoughts in the comment section. See you again tomorrow. Bye.